Hello again everybody. The next car that you've selected to view on ClassicMuscleCars.com is a new arrival here. This car is a very rare 1969 Ford Grande Cobra Jet. This is a Q-Code car and it's a car that is one of 26 that was built. Now I want to tell you a little bit about this car and I want to tell you a little bit about what is very special about what we're doing with this car. This is a first. No one in the history of automobile sales since day one has ever done what we're about to do. So you're witnessing a first here and we're very proud of this moment here at ClassicMuscleCars.com and Northern Illinois Classic Auto Brokers. Now this car was built at the San Jose plant and it was bought new at Dave Buck Ford in North Vancouver, Canada on June 27, 1969. Now it was taken off the road in 1979 and it was in storage and it was restored in 1992. The car was driven for about a year, then again it was put away in 93 and it has only recently came out after 11 years in storage and it was good conditional storage, heated, air conditioned, that type of thing. So it was in a good environment. Now there was 62 automatic coupes made with a 428 Cobra jet, but 26 of them were the Grande. That's what this car is. So this is one of 26, and it's probably only one of a handful that's left in the entire world. Now, uh, with this car also, we're gonna do something that no one has ever done because this is a thoroughbred investment muscle car. We're going to get into the appraised value of this car. This car was appraised at $65,000, not by us, but from another expert. Uh, with this car, what we're going to be doing, and I'm really excited about this, I think it's really cool. We're going to be including in the sale of this vehicle a original lithograph signed by none other than one of the great masters of the last century, Pablo Picasso. Now, if any of you out there, I'm sure a lot of you may not be art uh, freaks, so to speak, like we're car guys and we're car enthusiasts, but you know what? Uh, art is like the investment grade thoroughbred muscle cars because art never goes down, it always goes up. When you're dealing with a Picasso, Picasso is a man that was well known during the time and even today because of the artwork that he created. He was uh, born in 1881 and he died in 1973. Now the time frame for this piece is 1966. This car was built in 69. So we have a common tie-in here with the time that Pablo Picasso created this piece to the time that this car was built. So we've got two fantastic great pieces of, my, in my opinion, artwork that were created around the same time because I think this car is a piece of artwork because of the way that it was built. Now, um, also I want to say that uh, Picasso was 85, believe it or not, when he created this piece. And I'll give you a little bit of uh, information about it and Jeremy's going to show you what is called the Certificate of Authenticity, right Jeremy? Exactly which is on the back of this piece. But this piece is entitled Tête de Jean Fia la Colombe. That was amazing pronunciation, thank you. Not bad for a southern boy, huh yeah. Jeremy? Anyway, what that means is the head of a young girl at the column. Now, a lot of people look at art and a lot of people go, what was he thinking about? What do I see? Well, I'm gonna tell you what Picasso said about that. He said that most people that want to interpret what artists do, they're barking up the wrong tree. Why? Because they interpret things that they see in an everyday world the way that they see them. They're not trying to give out some mysterious message. He was basically saying that too many people spend too much time trying to s analyze what was here. And that's not the way Picasso did all of the creations that he did. He did it from what he experienced in everyday life. So this particular one is a, uh, supposedly a girl that he apparently saw behind a column and this is the idea that he came up with. Now this is a lithograph and this is signed uh, in the right corner in pencil. This particular piece again was done in 1966 and it was published in Ariel, Paris. 
So we got that right, right, Jeremy? I think so. I've never been there, but that's where it was published. And uh, the town that it was published is called Old Pont des Ariel, which is at the bridge of Ariel. So we need to go there and see this place someday, right, Jeremy? And we can take some of these muscle cars over there, and we can let people see what American muscle is all about. But they gave us some of the greats like Picasso, so that's a good thing. Now getting back to this car, I want to tell you that this is a C6 automatic. It has a console, power front disc brakes, power steering, tilt-away uh, steering wheel, which is kind of unique for the Fords. They swing out, which is cool. And it has internet, intermittent wipers and competition suspension. Now in the paperwork that we have for the um, car itself, and I'm going to get this over here, we have a Marty report. The Marty report is like PHS documentation for all Ford products. Uh, you can give them the serial number and they'll come back with what the car was. So we have that documentation here, the Marty report, which backs up the fact of the production of this particular car, what we're talking about, it being a 428 Cobra Jet and the production figures that we talked about. Also, this is the original build sheet that was located in the car and found. Um, a lot of the Ford products, uh, you don't find it. So it's, it's, it's a good thing that we have it. It's, it's really uh, nice to have for further documentation with this particular vehicle. Now again, uh, this car was appraised um, recently. This is the appraisal. If you want to see any of this information, just give that a call. He can fax it to you. But we have quite a thorough uh, appraisal of this particular vehicle and photographs and so forth. And it was appraised at the time, which was only uh, a few months ago, at $65,000. Now, talking about appraisals, the piece that I'm standing next to, the Picasso, has a current appraised value of $56,000. So if you take the combined appraised value of the vehicle and the Picasso, you have a total value of $121,000. Now we're not going to sell this for $121,000. We're going to sell this car less than what it's appraised for. You need to give Ed a call. You are going to get not only a super buy, you're going to have built-in equity and you're going to have something with a combination of these two pieces that's going to go up year after year after year. I don't need to tell you about artwork and Picasso's, the value. I don't need to have to tell you about thoroughbred investment muscle cars, what's happening with the market right now. The market is continuing to rise on the higher-end cars. This is a higher-end rare car. This is not a Hemi Cuda convertible by any means. But the last one of these cars that was offered for sale was offered at $86,000. So we have an incredible buy that you're going to be able to get on the ground floor with and have a fantastic investment for the years to come. So uh, give Ed a call, again, at 847-526-5950. He can give you a lot more information about this car and he can uh, also fax a lot of this information that we have. We have a lot of paperwork here, we have paperwork on the car, we have paperwork on the Picasso. So you want to make sure that you give him a call, get that information if you're really interested about the car and talk with that about what we can do on the price on it. So somebody out there is going to be the lucky owner of this beautiful combination 69 Mustang Grande 428 Cobra Jet along with this beautiful Picasso lithograph that was done in 1966. Here we are, two works of art. One of them brought to us by Mr. Pablo Picasso and this one brought to us by the Ford Motor Company. Let's examine Mr. Picasso's work first. Smaller but still lots of details to check out. First off, let's get into a signature here. Here's Pablo's signature. Let's take a look at the piece itself. I myself am not a noted art authority, so I won't even attempt to make any descriptions here. But here it is, check it out. 
In the meantime, we'll go on the flip side here. And here is the official certificate of authenticity. And there you are. Oh, let's look at the appraisal we have on this as well. There's the gentleman that did the appraisal. There it is, $56,000. Signed, 829.04 by Aaron Aubrey. If you got it. Okay, enough for Mr. Picasso's work. Now on to this fine product from the Ford Motor Company. Let's have a close look under the hood while we're here. 428 Cobra Jet. We've got this kind of roped off here. It's a little uh, shrine. Tightly packed under the hood, that's for sure. This car is still going to go off for a little bit of detail work in a little while. This is really incredible paint for stuff that is 12 or it's been 12 years since anyone has touched the paint on this car. That's not saying the paint is perfect, it's not. It's, uh, it is looking really good though for paint that is 12 years old. I mean, real good. But if you look around it, it's not perfect. Let's see if I can squeeze myself in here. Looking down the car, you can see it's factory straight. This is not gonna be easy. But I'll do it anyway. And I made it out. Let's close the hood, see what it looks like. Beautiful. Let's take a look inside. We're going to be doing some work here. For instance, the chrome on the uh, door lock knob is not there, so we will be replacing that. And put a little more light on the subject. Here's the door panel. Thirty-two, one twenty on the odometer. Fuel and temp gauge. Oil pressure gauge there. Ammeter. It's got the factory space radio, big space where the radio should be. And inside the clock. Very nice. It's pretty comfortable too. Good back support. Check out the back. And the back's looking pretty clean too. That's it for right now.